are you born to you all? One more beautiful time, grade 11 science, chapter number 3 is in front of you. We have been learning mixtures and this is going to be 8 video. Composition of a mixture for the second time we will understand. And we already talk about mass fraction and volume fraction in our previous lessons, didn't we? Yes, we already covered the mass fraction and the volume fraction and it was very easy and interesting and I hope you have repeated it and you learned it well. Now here in this section we are going to find out the rest of the other three. Let's get into the subject and find out. The composition of a mixture as a mole fraction. So here the mole is coming to action. Now why? The mole fraction of each component of a mixture containing only two components A and B can be expressed as follows. If you have two components in a mixture, mole fraction of A and mole fraction of a B, if you want to express, the equation is very simple. Mole fraction of A is always A over A plus B. And mole fraction of a B, it comes as moles of B and you want to find out both the moles A and B. Let's see there is a question like this. What is the mole fraction of a sodium hydroxide in a solution made by dissolving 40 grams of sodium hydroxide in 180 grams of water? To find out that, first of all, you want to find out the moles of water and moles of hydroxide in this particular example. What do you want to find out? You want to find out moles. That's the most important thing. How to find the moles? We already know about it. We want to find out the molar mass of this sodium hydroxide and the molar mass of the water. So first of all, let's find out the molar mass of the water. To find out the molar mass of the water, we are applying the equation H2O. In hydrogen, the molar mass is 1 and we have 2 hydrogen, that means 1 into 2. And oxygen got a molar mass of 16, we already know about it. That says 18 grams per mole as the molar mass of water. From here, we can understand how many moles in this water by simply applying it. So, amount of moles of water in the solution, here we go, we are getting an answer like this. 180 grams, it's already there. And we found out the molar mass of the water and we, when we are dividing it, yes, we have 10 in there, right, GG goes away and the mole comes up. So that says 10 moles. In this example, what is in front of you, there are 10 moles of water in the solution. Let's understand how many moles are there in the sodium hydroxide in the solution, right. For find out that, first of all, we want to find out molar mass of sodium hydroxide. Okay, sodium has 23, oxygen has 16, and we have H, that is hydrogen 1. 23 plus 16 plus 1 is equal to 40 grams per mole. Now we want to find out the amount of moles of sodium hydroxide in the solution. So, how many sodium hydroxides are there? 40 grams, am I right? So, we are dividing that simply by 40 grams per mole. And without any doubt, the answer comes as 1 mole. Now, it's almost solved. The problem or equation is solved. Mole fraction of sodium hydroxide in the solution. We came to know amount of moles of sodium hydroxide as 1. The water, there is 10. An amount of moles of sodium hydroxide. Yes, it is 1 once again. Now, when we are solving the problem or equation, 1 above 10 plus 1, it's equal to 1 over 11. So, the mole is expressed. Isn't that simple? If any question coming like that, you can apply same kind of an equation. First of all, you want to find out the molar mass of that in the solution and then after that you can provided that they have given how many grams of that particular component you can find out easily the moles that also we found out then you are applying the mole fraction of that particular a or b 
as per the equation and finding out. Similarly, the mole fraction of water in the above solution also can be calculated, right? Mole fraction of water, we already know that mole, 10 moles of water is there and 10 plus 1 is there, it is becoming 10 above 11. So, some of the mole fraction, yeah, mole fraction of water and mole fraction of sodium, when we are calculating, it will be 1 every time. So, sum of mole fraction is also, it has to be 1 in the composition. That's what they are telling here also. So the sum of mole fraction of all components in the mixture is 1. The sum of mass fraction of volume fraction of all components in a mixture is equal to 1. There are no units for the mass fraction, volume fraction or mole fraction of a mixture. It has to be 1. Now the composition of a mixture expressed as fraction it also can be expressed as percentage or as a part of the million ppm composition of a person percentage like fraction into 100 like parts per million fraction into 1 million all right now see this example they will clearly tell you how to do that one 20 grams of dolomite contain 12 grams of magnesium carbonate calculate the mass fraction of magnesium carbonate and express it as a mass percentage it's very simple it's very very simple mass fraction of magnesium carbonate magnesium is 12 and 12 grams of dolomite is the solution and what happens over here you're getting 0 0.6 simply put a percentage for that 0 0.6 multiplied by 100 and 60 percent of magnesium carbonate composition as a percentage is there in that dolomite 20 grams of dolomite goodie so we came to know mole fraction also now it's time for us to understand mass volume fraction expressing composition of a mixture in terms of mass and volume that is right you can get the mass of some solid volume of some liquid you understand here mass of some solid volume of some liquid this expresses the mass of solute contained in a unit volume of a mixture one cubic decimeter of Givenis solution contain 5 grams of sodium chloride. Here, you get a volume and you get a mass also. You see that one? Here it is, the mass. And this one is volume. Find the composition of sodium chloride in it. In terms of MV. Right, oh, okay. So, composition of MV is always equal to mass of sodium chloride and volume of solution. So, we already have this volume of the solution and the mass of sodium chloride as well. And it is very simple. Apply it 5 grams over 1 cubic decimeter. That's going to be the answer. 5 grams. Yes, per cubic decimeter. Voila. So, we understood that in a very simple way. Now, moles and volume fraction, wow. So, let's say expressing composition of mixture in the terms of moles. So, we want to find out moles. We know how to find out moles from finding out the molar values, right? Now, then, it's given a volume, some liquid volume. Now, let's understand this is used to express the composition of a homogeneous mixture. Now, always remember, mole volumes is always expressed the homogeneous mixture solution, right? Mole is the international unit for the amount of matter. Here, the composition is given in terms of the amount of mole of solute contained in a unit volume of solution. The composition expressed in this way is called the concentration. When we are talking about this moles and volume fraction, they are talking about concentration. In chemistry, very often, concentration of a solution is expressed in terms of the amount of moles of solute contained in a cubic decimeter of the solution. Let's see, 2 cubic decimeter of solution, voila, okay, they are giving the volume, contain 4, they are giving moles now here, and sodium hydroxide, 
find the sodium hydroxide concentration of this solution it's very straight away they are giving amount of moles amount of moles of sodium hydroxide in two cubic decimeter of the solution is four moles okay now find the sodium hydroxide concentration of this solution amount of moles of sodium hydroxide in one cubic decimeter of the solution is given by like this four mole divided by two then what about one four moles divided by two if it is say for example if it is 20 over here and if it is 5 over here the equation will be as it is like 20 over 5 and then what about 1 and answer can be like 4 moles now here in this example what is the answer it is 2 moles because amount of moles of sodium hydroxide in one cubic decimeter of solution is this so concentration of sodium hydroxide in this solution we are talking about two mole per cubic decimeter how is it two mole per cubic decimeter that is how you are mentioning it work out the mass of glucose that should be weighed to prepare 500 cubic centimeter from 1 mole cubic decimeter glucose solution. Per cubic decimeter glucose solution. That's right. So mass of the glucose required to prepare 1000 cubic centimeter of solution is always 180 grams. Therefore, we can find out the 500 in an easy way. So mass of the glucose required to prepare 500. You're putting an equation and simplifying equation as 180 if it is 1000 what about for 500 so you're getting and simplify cubic centimeter is gone grams is there and 1000 to 500 is 1 so that is 180 grams divided by 2 that's 90 grams how many how much of mass of glucose is required to prepare 500 cubic centimeter of solution when we are talking about mass it should come in grams right so that is 90 grams so you need 90 grams of mass of glucose to prepare 500 cubic centimeter of solution and we came to know that so we know the purpose of mass friction now when the volume is concerned mass is concerned mass friction and volume is concerned liquid and gas i'm talking about what about the mole fraction we came to know mass and the volume when it is mass and the volume it is mass volume fraction and moles and volume is moles volume fraction when two things given one in mole and we want to find out the volume that also we can find out now we have completed the composition of mixture and we will continue the rest of the other subject in our next lesson and session take care of your studies bye bye